A Melbourne engineer has taken the idea of giving a hand to a new level. Matt Botel uses a 3D printer to manufacture replacement limbs and he does it for free and in his own time. Brett McLeod explains. Three-year-old Kalani started life with a huge setback, born without fingers on her left hand. We were quite devastated at the start but just come to terms with it and um, stayed positive and um, <laughs> we're lucky enough to have been introduced <laughs> Matt is going to give Kalani a new hand. By day, he's an engineer at Toyota. In his spare time, he's making functional prosthetic limbs for people who can't afford them. Keen to try and make something uh, that was cheap enough for people to be able to donate to people for free. Matt spent $5,000 of his own money getting a 3D printer, scanner and software. He's driven from Melbourne to Wollongong to meet Kalani and 12-year-old Lily, who suffers the same condition. Layer by layer, the new hand is built up. And soon, Kalani is ready for her fitting. Within minutes, she can pick up her favourite toys and throw a ball. She got it. Very emotional. Um, uh, fantastic. It's Lily's turn next. She straps on her new limb. It takes a little practice. Oh, it's heavy too. It's a bit difficult sometimes, but it, you can get a hang of it easily. Soon, the girls are showing off their new moves. Got it. <clears throat> <laughs> Matt's generosity goes beyond making hands. He's also designed and tested a kinetic finger. Previously, prosthetics like this could cost patients thousands. Matt makes them for a dollar. And put his design on the internet so anyone with a 3D printer can use it for free. He's now hoping crowdfunding will help him supply limbs around the world. The amount of satisfaction that you get from uh, giving something to somebody for free is so much more than you could ever get if you were to uh, make any money uh, from doing so. One of Matt's earliest works was for a boy who wanted his new limb to look like Iron Man, proving not all heroes wear capes, but they do give a hand. Brett McLeod, Nine News.